Hi guys and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. It is Wednesday afternoon and Rufus and I are here at the rig. And I was going to do a video that today that was going to be on putting a battery cutoff switch into the Jeep Pepper. But I got sidetracked. I went to Walmart and I got a Craven. And that Craven involves pork spare ribs. Look at them babies, huh? What do you think of those? So I saw those, and look at the price. $1.84 a pound, and this slab is 6.34 pounds for $11.67. How can you go bad with that? Now the country style pork ribs, just to give you an idea, were $4 a pound. So $4.10, something like that. So what a deal on these, right? And I got a ton of them. So Rufus and I are going to eat well with this. Let me tell you what we're going to do. Normally, somebody would probably call these barbecued sparrows, but they're not going to be barbecued. I used to own a barbecue restaurant, and I know what barbecuing is. And that's when you slow smoke something at about 200 degrees, and you use a nice... Uh, dry rub on them and they get nice and tender and they kind of fall off the bone but not really they still got that little bit of tooth to them all right you don't want them to be mush that's barbecue so what I'm gonna call these is spare ribs done in a barbecue sauce we're not gonna do these on the grill or in the smoker uh, for you know eight hours we're not gonna do that what we are gonna do is put them in the ninja cooker and we are gonna just brown the ribs a little bit with nothing on them in the ninja cooker by the way then we're gonna add one can of soda and we're gonna let them kinda cook in that for a little bit alright and these babies take a while to soften up so it's not like uh, we're gonna have any problem with that and then we're also going to add one onion sliced up nice and fine and two good sized jalapeno peppers to just bring them over that edge where when they're peeking at you, you know that they're looking at you. You know what I'm saying? A little bite to them. Notice that my sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce is also the sweet and spicy type. So this is going to be a very nice, sweet, spicy, caliente kind of rib and they will be fall off the bone because they're not going to be uh, uh, on a grill they're actually going to be in a slow cooker and that meat's just going to come right off but the flavor is going to be phenomenal completely different than the true barbecue Memphis style Texas style Carolina style whatever completely different than that all right this is by no means one of those competition recipes okay this is just something that you're gonna love comfort food you're just gonna love to sit there and 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 enjoy the sweetness and the spiciness and the pork flavor that comes from this so let me stop yakking because you know me I love to yak oh yeah happy happy me yappy 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 yeah happy yappy right that rhymes I should have a t-shirt that says happy yappy yep happy yappy rufus and doofus if I had a t-shirt how many of you guys would want one let me know. In any case, that just came to me. So I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to prep my onion up, cut that up, and I'm going to cut that jalapeno up. And what do we call that? We call that missing place. Remember, we had a little cooking cooking uh, uh, education before. Missing place, everything in its place. So when you're ready to cook, it's right there, easy to do. Don't go away. I'll be right back, and I'll show you what we're up to. Okay, boys and girls, here I am. I got my stuff all prepped up, you know, the mise en place, all right? So let me show you what I got here. I got my ribs. They're all set to go, cut up nice, right? And then I got my peppers and my onions. Those are two jalapenos and one whole onion, sliced thin, all right? Not, not diced or anything, sliced. I want to know they're in there. And then I got my ninja cooker and I got that puppy set on stove top high and I am going to dump the ribs in now and get those browned up a little bit just a little bit nothing crazy okay so let me get going cuz I be hungry alright so I got me a wooden utensil cuz I don't want to scratch my 
ninja cooker up and the first thing that's going to go in now that this is getting warm is my ribs so here we go bingo nothing to it that wasn't hard was it spread them around a little bit and we'll let those keep going so I'm just going to leave this be a little bit and I'll be back soon, okay? Alrighty. Things are starting to happen here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little coarse ground black pepper because I like black pepper and I like the way it looks in the finished product. So here we go. My little jar of black pepper, huh? I guess I like it. Sprinkle some of that on there. Not much. I know it looks like a lot, but it's not. All right, now we're going to move that around a little bit. As I say, the Ninja Cooker right now is on stovetop high. Just trying to get things rolling here. Now, toss them around like that a little bit. Oh, yeah, toss them around like a shopping cart on double coupon day. Yep. All right, now we're going to add the peppers and onions and yeah this is good this is going to give it a little bit more depth than you would get if you just used the barbecue sauce and the uh, coca-cola or the cola based product so no liquids here at this point okay so that's that stir that up a little bit if some of those peppers and onions get a little brown, I don't care. I like that. Yes, it just adds to that depth of flavor. I love depth of flavor. We're going to stack those flavors one on top of the other. We're building a meal. And that's that. See you in a little bit. Alrighty, it's starting to look like something here. As I say, we're just... No liquids yet, just those onions in there, get some flavor built up. All right, I'm gonna let those go. I added pepper, that's the only seasoning so far. I don't anticipate a adding any salt, uh, but we shall see, all right? So, that's it for now. We'll be back in a little bit. Don't go away. Oh baby, things are happening here. I wish you were here. If you could smell the love in these ribs, I'm telling you, if they would cook ribs like this in the showroom when they were selling these RVs, they'd probably sell a million of them because I can smell the love, let me tell you. This is awesome. Oh, my lordy, lordy. They are starting to be right where I want them. They gave up a little juice in the bottom. Yeah, we got a little juice in the bottom, which is going to mix with that Coke when I pour it in here. Which, by the way, is going to happen right now. So don't go away. Alrighty, here we are with the Coke. I'm using the diet variety, but you can use regular sugar variety if you want. Um, but I just happen to have the diet, but it's got to be cola, okay? So we're going to add one can. Bingo. Boy, is that easy or what? Oh, yeah. Who the thunk, huh? Coca-Cola and pork ribs. Boy, there's a combination. Huh, I'll tell you, that's like that's almost like orange soda and liver and onions. Yuck. No, I don't think that'd work, but Coca-Cola and ribs does, trust me. So, one can of that in there, foamed up a little bit. Now, we're just going to let those set, okay? I still have not taken the Ninja Cooker off of the stovetop setting, and I'm not going to yet. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to put the top on the Ninja Cooker. Don't go away. In about, oh, 45 minutes, I'm going to come back and take a peek at these, and I don't want you guys leaving. So stick around. Okay, I'm back. Hasn't been quite 45 minutes, maybe 20. And um, everything is looking the way it's supposed to. Oh yeah. Now I just want that broth down there to thicken up a little bit. The ribs are doing fine. So I'm going to leave the top off of the Ninja Cooker. We're still on stove top. 
and uh, we are good to go. Everything is going as planned. And being that I'm in Texas and very close to Houston, I'm just going to report Houston, we don't have any problems right now. And that's that. Okay, guys, I'm back. Time to give it a little stir. Whoa, that's hot. Holy smoke. I'm only kidding. I didn't hurt myself. Just wanted to see if you guys were alive there. I didn't want you falling asleep. You know what I'm saying? All right. These are looking great. Won't be long before we add our barbecue sauce and put the lid on this puppy. Now, a lot of you might ask me, why didn't you add the barbecue sauce already? Well, I'll tell you what. If we add the barbecue sauce now, it's going to break down and separate and it's going to look nasty. We don't want that. We want to put the barbecue sauce in towards the end of the cooking so that it maintains its nice consistency and look. We don't want it to, you know, turn into two different or more products, all right? We just want barbecue sauce, not its components. All right. Plus, it's going to dilute a little bit anyway because of the nice juice that we've accumulated back here. So, next time I see you guys will be when we add that barbecue sauce. And I promise I won't scare you by saying I burnt myself. I promise. All right. Don't go away. Stay awake. Be happy. Dinner's coming. Okay, boys and girls. It is now time to put the Ninja Cooker on slow cook. Not the high setting, but the low setting. And it's time to add the barbecue sauce. So, let's put this baby on low. And I'm just going to set the time for like six hours. We're not going to cook it for six hours, but I'm just setting it that way. And we're going to add our barbecue sauce here we go we're gonna be pretty generous with it you know I'd say I'm probably gonna add almost half of this and this is 40 ounces so almost notice I said almost not the whole thing but almost all right so that that now I'm gonna stir them up a bit ski yep we want all that good flavor getting everywhere so we're going to stir that up. Oh boy, does this smell good. You should smell the love in here. Unbelievable. And that, that juice that was in the bottom has reduced down. And it's pretty nice and thick. So it looks really good. We may have to add a little more barbecue sauce later. We'll take a peek. But for now... We're going to put the lid on and let this baby go and see how it looks. Don't go away. We're almost ready to eat. All right, guys. There's our finished product. And they should be nice and tender. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. Looks to me like we may have had a thief come in here and steal one of these ribs. I know who it was, too. But I won't give them up. Alright, so let's plate one of these babies up. Turn everything off. And uh, let's give it the old taste test. What do you think? There's one baby. And there's another baby. And you'll notice that the barbecue sauce doesn't really look like barbecue sauce, but it's got a lot of flavor in there. I'll tell you, you'll be able to taste the, oh, hell, let's go taste it and I'll tell you. Alrighty, Rufus's nose is quivering. There's a lot of love and goodness and smells in the air that he just loves and I love because my mouth is watering. So let's taste this. Alright, notice I'm just using a fork getting that meat there look at that huh did that look good or what so let's taste it mmm I cannot begin to tell you how good that is 
let me try and describe it. The rib meat is very, very tender. It's not mush, it's very tender, not dry. Uh, the sauce, I can taste the jalapeno in it. I can taste the onion. I can taste the sweetness from the Coca-Cola. And uh, what's interesting is I can actually taste that nice pork flavor uh, that has melded with the barbecue sauce the way we did it. Now the barbecue sauce has separated a little bit. You do not need to have a lot of barbecue sauce in here. Matter of fact, if it tastes just like barbecue sauce and nothing else, something went wrong. This is the way it's supposed to be. Those flavors have come together. They fuse together. And I just can't tell you how good it is. And I'll tell you what, I can't talk anymore because my mouth is watering. So I have to get back to this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Yes, Rufus and I would appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. And above all, be happy. Happy, happy, happy. Alrighty, guys. Take care.